Welcome back. CNN is reporting a growing number of Democrats and donors feel President Biden's reelection campaign is lacking action. They're reaching out to possible replacement candidates. One senior Democrat says, quote, it's a crapshoot this election. And when it's a crapshoot, you have to do everything possible. It cannot be done when the guy's 80 years old and has his day job. Here's the articles authors are weighing in on. Listen. The latest version of it is this thinking among a lot of Democrats, like there's not enough going on. Fundraising's not where it needs to be. How are we going to do this? So Trump is maybe coming back. We need it's so much is on the line here. And uh, it's even fed this conspiracy thinking in some people that maybe his, his heart's not really in it. That's mm. what's going on. He's going to drop out. It's even led to some top Democrats going to prospective alternative candidates and saying, get ready. I'm telling you, he's not going to run. Meanwhile, a new poll finds two thirds of voters think President Biden should not run again. Uh, so a younger candidate can seek the nomination. And over half of Democrats agree, according to this poll. Uh, Joe, I, I, I can't even fathom that Joe Biden is going to run again. It, it just seems so unbelievable to me. But I but I guess, you know, he and, and, and uh, the first lady want it. I suppose he does. But but look, Maria, last weekend, America was treated to the slow pace of Joe Biden moving a chair on the beach. So it shouldn't be a surprise to, to most people that the campaign is off to a similarly slow start. Uh, I actually just checked their website to see if they were even doing some basic things like uh, announcing leadership teams uh, in, in, in different states, etc. Their website's actually still a landing page. And that, that's dissimilar from uh, Donald Trump, uh, uh, Ron DeSantis, even RFK Jr. has a robust website talking about issues and, and, and listing press releases and things that are happening. Uh, I just think that every day that this goes on, where it becomes clearer and clearer, not just to people analyzing politics, but even to the general public, uh, every day this goes on, this puts someone like Gavin Newsom uh, in really the catbird seat, because he is probably uh, one of the few, if not the only Democrat, who six months out from the primaries uh, could wrestle up enough donors and support to really mount a, a campaign. Don't forget, the Democrats will have a primary. RFK is... is is, is in this race. He, he's, he's running for president. So he is, in my opinion, Newsom, the only possible contender outside of Joe Biden who could mount a campaign uh, within six months. So do you think they've completely written off Kamala Harris then? Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, I, I just don't see any scenario where she could sort of overtake him uh, as the, 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 the torchbearer uh, when uh, Joe Biden himself is, so, is falling so flat. I mean, America has just softened on him. He, he doesn't have the same charisma as uh, Bill Clinton did uh, when he ran for reelection or even Barack Obama. Uh, Democrats at those times were really invested in seeing sort of what they believed was the good times rolling. You just don't see that. You don't see it in the polling. You don't see it in the anecdote. You don't see it in, in, the, in the just conversation you have with people in the subway. Rebecca, how do you see it? You know, I if we remember back to the campaign in 2020, it was the perfect uh, reason for Joe Biden to campaign with from his basement. You know, coronavirus, calling a lid as much as he did, not having a lot of activity. Americans sort of accepted it as, well, it's coronavirus. We're not doing public events. And even though Trump was out there doing rallies every week, sometimes multiple rallies. So he had a perfect excuse in 2020. This administration is like, and this campaign is like, what are we, how are we going to, obviously he's the president now, but um, he's not able to do any more than he did the last time around. And in fact, obviously, I think, you know, maybe it's, it's actually deteriorated and it's worse. So this is a problem. And the American people, you just had up, Maria, on the screen that over 60 percent of the U.S. population, I think 68 percent are moderately to severely concerned about his mental capacity. So, um, you know, I just I don't understand someone this age with the amount of obvious, uh, you know, mental facility diminution that he has publicly displayed globally to the world. It's not like, you know, it's not out there that he continues. Continues, uh, to go forward when there are younger and, and other candidates for sure for the party. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Okay. We will take a break. When